It is Booker and Stryker. It is Alt 98.7. And there's a big show tonight in the iHeartRadio Theater. Stryker will host it and probably screw it up. Probably. But the stars of this show tonight... Well, that would be Brad and Matt from this band, Cage the yeah. Elephant. Yeah, guys, 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 guys. Woohoo! Nice to see you guys. Good to see uh, you. Good to see you. You're up. All right, so <laughs> you're pl- in just a I couple like short hours from now, mm-hmm. you're going to be playing some of your new songs, I believe, for the very first time in front of people. This is true, yeah. How ready is the band for this? I feel pretty good about it. Um, we actually don't suck, so. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, actually, like when we were practicing um, after the shows, we were, God, those guys suck. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> when we were, when we were practicing, we like it, it sounded like a basement band at first. Oh yeah, like you know, just re going. I was like, oh, all right, we're in the basement band stage, and then we'd be like, all right, now we're in the bar band stage. <laughs> oh God, <laughs> <laughs> it's been what for- two years since you've done a show at least. Yeah, since November two thousand twenty-two was the last show. Um, the new album is coming out. Baby Neon Strikers. Pill next Friday. You've heard it? Yeah, oh, yes. Okay. I don't know the album, so this is kind of fun. Does it suck? Is it great? Like, tell us <laughs> about it. <laughs> well, um, I don't know. You want Maybe. my true uh, take on it? <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, oh boy. It. I'll give it up. I felt like no one listened to me while we made this record. And, uh, I mean, it, well, it could no, have been so good. You can't say it's too good or you look like a, a you know, like a conceited person. Right. But you can't say too bad because you want people to like it. So One word, go. masterpiece. <laughs> yeah. Masterpiece. I'm going to go with 7.8. Oh, yeah. okay. <laughs> okay. Um, you I know, felt pretty good about uh, it. Yeah. It's, sure. Yeah. I feel, I mean, it like, I feel like it's a, it's an honest uh, interpretation of where we were while we were writing the record. 100%. Okay. Yeah. One more quick question about music and, you know, making it in singles and all of this stuff. My favorite thing about your band is, there are no two singles that ever sound the same. Right. Do you guys ever trash things because you're like, oh, that's too neon pill. That's too no, good time. Other reasons for sure, though. <laughs> but we're, honestly, we're a, we, we've been a band that we rarely, there's been maybe a, a song or two left off of records, but we usually write a record to what it is. Oh, yeah, for sure. Whenever we start writing a song, we write it to finish it, for sure. KG <laughs> Elephant with Booker and Stryker, if you're just tuning in Stryker. Listen, I was in a band for 40 years. <laughs> we were almost in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. And when I would meet with my bandmates, at least in our own heads, there would be a theme because we'd be going through certain things. So we can't be riding about riding bikes and eating ice cream when it's and it's a good song, but I'm going through this other S. Is that right uh, or wrong? Yeah, for said? sure. I mean, it's definitely based on what's happening in life. Um I mean, most of our songs are very heavily connected with our personal experiences. We're not like, I I love when artists can write fictional songs about other people. I think that's an amazing gift, but um, it's not really. But we we never really have like, as far as the music goes, we never have a theme that we're like, you know, we want to make a heavy record or or whatever. We just kind of write. Actually, I was, if there was one thing that I, that I was, uh, would have like to write more on this album was heavy so the next album is going to be a metal record huh? <laughs> our <laughs> first themed record hell music. yeah oh, metal. rattle the cage the elephants Death metal <laughs> actually my daughter's playing softball and my wife does their walk-up music and she's no. like and so so um <laughs> she's like she's like she's like uh and her, her, man no she, she was picking <laughs> her walk-up music and i was like I was like, Ada, you don't want to do this song? And I put it on, it's like, <laughs> <laughs> she's like, no, dad. And I was like, I was like, I'm going to play that one instead of your walk up song. She was terrified. Um, but I did not. We, did not we do this on Booker and Stryker. Every band hates it for the record. We can run play Depeche Mode, Killers, Muse. Toyo Pilots, Muse, hated it, ragged on it, which is why we like doing it. Yeah, we, we continue with it. We, we get three songs of yours, probably the biggest crowd the favorite. The ones we like the most, too. the ones that your fans like the most. Usually the ones you have to close with. And we eliminate one of them. So the three songs we've chosen mm. are what? We're going to go Social Cues, Ain't No Rest for the Wicked, Cigarette Daydreams. One must go. You oh, have to trust. Ooh, ain't No Rest. No Rest for the Wicked. Oh, really? Sure. Oh, it's yeah. good. I don't hate good. that. Just no, 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 no. Snip. No, no, I mean, I don't. It's not, like, it's not like I hate that song or anything. I don't But it's song. definitely... Um, uh, the the least developed song out of all the songs that we've written for sure. So, but even when you see all those people get into it, you still are like, screw it, it's out. We we flip the script on you all this time. <laughs> yeah, <we're> like, 
I, I honestly didn't see an answer coming so quickly. I know. Most bands, him and Haw, and they get Trigger like and Booger really said we could cut it from the set. So. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 don't, don't mention our Sorry, no, Warren. No, no, it's no, no, yeah. no. Um, Tonight on the radio, 7 o'clock, Stryker will be your host tonight. KG Elephant discussing their new album, Neon Pill. Great new song, by the way. We should mention that. Yes, We're going to play that here in a second. And also, there's another song on the album that's called Rainbow. Are you going to be playing Rainbow tonight? Yeah, absolutely. We will. Okay, yeah. can you just give us just 20 seconds on it so when people are listening or watching, they can hear this. Rainbow was, was one of those special songs that happened pretty instantaneously. Um, yeah, it's, it's always uh, an extreme blessing whenever you sit down and, and whatever you're going through is um, strong enough to come into the shape of a song and... I don't know. It worked. It, it sounds good. I like it. I don't know what to say. Where does it work <laughs> in terms of your favorite oh. of the new songs right now? Uh, it's definitely my favorite track on the album, wow. for sure. Right. Rainbows. KG Elephant on yes. Booker and Striker, And again, on your radio tonight at 7 o'clock. And, of course, on the iHeartRadio app as well. Guys, thank you for popping yep. in for a yeah. couple of minutes. Congrats. We appreciate yeah. this. Yeah, man. Yeah, Just remember, it. because of you all, we're not playing Ain't No Rest. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. Hold on. No, no, no. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> we are. I'm joking. <laughs> oh, it is Alt 98.7.